Hey, it's Azea. Welcome back to my channel. One, two, three, let's go! Today, we're going to be making a replica of a Panera salad. So I'm making it into a charcuterie board. And we're going to be making some mimosas. So let's get right into today's video. Get into what we're going to be using. I'm going to be using a mixture of strawberries and blueberries, some pecan, an assortment of cheese, crackers, and some already cut pineapple. My last ingredient is the Panera at home poppy seed dressing. So I'm actually going to put that back in the fridge because I prefer to have it a little cold. Now we're just going to wash up and assemble. Okay, great. So the only thing that I need to prepare would be my strawberries. So I'm just going to take the top off and then slice it in fours. I've gotten these clear bowls. That's how I'm gonna start off the board and then just kind of build around that. I was thinking of putting the fruits on one side, the cheese on one side, the pecans and the the pecans and then the crackers, but we'll kind of see how things develop. Actually, I think I'm not gonna make this the center. I'm gonna put another bowl on here because I'm just thinking of how things move around. So I'm gonna put the blueberries in one and put the sauce in the other, but I'm just putting this so I can easily map out what I'm gonna be doing. We're gonna start off with the cheese. And in this assorted tray, we have pepper jack, Swiss cheese, Colby jack, and cheddar cheese. So I think the only one I won't use is cheddar because I'm accustomed to cheddar. And I am accustomed to Colby jack as well, but eh. I have this onion jack, so I think we're going to substitute. This is how it comes, but I'm going to cut it even smaller because I don't want such large pieces of cheese. And I'm going to stack them. Should you even be cutting on the charcuterie board? I don't think so. Mm -mm. This one is stinky. Okay, so we're just gonna do the little cubes. And now I want to use some laughing curls, so I'm going to put that on either side of this. We found the string! Get a little grip. Okay. So I got the original because I didn't think I needed to do too much. So we're going to try to peel these as best as we can. I love it here. Oops. That's okay. Okay. And then let's try the sides. This one came out better. I love that for us. Okay. So we're just gonna put those there. Or maybe we could just put them to one side. Now we have the strawberries. The blueberries.
And then lastly, the pineapples. Well, technically, second to last. I like that these already come pre-cut, so now it's less cutting for me to do. So I'm just gonna use a stack of crackers and just lay them in the column on this side. And then the good stuff, poppy seed dressing, which if you guys have not had this salad from Panera, you probably do not know how good this tastes, but I can't wait. So not too much, just a little because we don't have that much fruit on the board. So after a quick little sprucing up, I have some cupcakes that I think might add a nice touch. Just for decorative reasons, I ain't actually gonna eat them because all of this is already on there. So one is coconut and one is wedding cake, which just has like an almondy kind of theme jig. And now it's time for the second star of the show. So we're just gonna put her to this corner we got these nice flutes and some cupcake prosecco and then we have this ice tray contains some flavored ice and this side we're gonna put the orange juice and on this side we're gonna put i think the flavor was blueberry acai without further ado thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you guys next time happy easter